Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here. I am. Welcome back to another Pokemon Wars Wi-Fi battle. In this battle today, I'll be versing my friend Omega Mouse, also known as Mike or Michael or Mikey Wakey, whatever you want to call him. Don't call him Mikey Wakey. He hates being called that. But anyways, let's uh, take a look at his team here. As you can see, he has a Greninja, a Dawnfan, a Heatran, a Zumeral, a Sceptile, and a Kyurem. Now, five of five of six of his Pokemon are weak to um, Fighting types, so an Ice type. So that's not really good. And my Conk Elder has Ice Punch and Drain Punch, plus Mock Punch if I want those quick KOs. So his team is kind of crippled by my Conk Elder. The only thing that can counter it is the Zoomerol, but that's not really good enough because he can tank at least one play rough. But, anyways, let's get straight into this battle. Now, right off the bat, I didn't really predict him to switch out into anything. So I just went out to whatever I want. I switched out into my. Or went out, or let off, sorry about that guys. I let off into my Gengar here, just maybe in case he brought out a physical attacker, which he did right here. Or he brought out a Zumero, which can get burn off. But surprisingly, Black Kyurem outsped my Gengar. I was surprised about this. I didn't know how fast um, Black Kyurem was at the, when I was in this battle. And he just O-coded my Gengar right off the bat, and that was kind of a bad play on my part, because... Gengar could have been very useful in this battle. But anyways, I predict him to go to another Dragon Claw again. And I brought out my Conk Elder knowing that he would be able to take that thing out easily. And he predicts me to go for the Mock Punch or the Drain Punch or something. And I predict him to go to his Zoomerol and I get off a knockoff and taking out this, all this. Now right here, I predicted him to go for a Play Rough, which I was correct on. And Slowbro still took a lot of damage. But this is not any ordinary slow bro. This is an in-game slow bro. Yes, I was using an in-game Pokemon on this team. I didn't realize until I brought it out. It was an Owen Temple, um, like two IV, zero EV train slow bro. It was really crafty. I just put like competitive moves on it before the battle, which was somewhat good. It kind of worked. It did actually a lot of work actually in this battle, so that was good. Anyways, I went for the paralyze there and then I went for a heal and got the parahax. So I also got a free heal on that turn, which was perfect. Over here I'm like, eh, hey, let's get some damage off on this Azumaro so it's not that big of a threat and we can take it out easily so Conkelder can sweep the rest of the team. And I did just that. I did a lot of damage, even though this thing was not assault vested. Um, even though, I mean, just because I took up the assault vest. And he goes for the play rough and then switching out because he probably wants to save that Azumarill again for the Conk Elder. The only thing that could really do damage to my Conk Elder is his Azumarill. But I predict him to switch out into his Sceptile and win for his lock off. And then right here, I'm like, nah, I don't want any of that energy ball damage. And I switch out into my Swag Z right here. Um, now, I'm surprised he didn't go for a, uh, what's it called, a Focus Blast. Because this was actually a really predictable play. I know maybe he didn't want to take the risk of me staying in my Slowbro, but honestly, I always switch out into my Swag Z if something's going to be endangered by a special attacker. It's just a really predictable thing that I always do, and I don't understand why he didn't go for a Focus Blast. But anyways, he predicts me to go for a Flamethrower, which I did exactly, because I was just going for a safe play here. I didn't really want to take the risk of him um, going out into, like, I think um, Black Heron can get, like, Volt Absorb or something, so I didn't want to take the risk of that happening. And I just went for Flamethrower. But anyways, I went for a Thunderbolt here, taking out his Azumarill. Now, his team's just screwed by my Conk Elder. He has nothing to take out my Conk Elder at this point. And it's going to be a really hard battle from this point forward. But anyways, I get the leftovers, and I'm missing 1 HP now, which is kind of funny. It's kind of weird at the same time. Watch, he's going to hit me with Earthquake here, and then it's going to be because of that 1 HP now. I switch out here, predicting either him to go for an Earthquake or a Stealth Rocks. Now, he did go for Stealth Rocks. If he went for an Earthquake, it wasn't going to matter either, because Slowbro could somewhat tank, as you can see right here. It only does around 25%, 35%, which isn't that much. And I go for the Scald just to get that little extra damage off. Also hoping to get off a burn, because then... Slowbro maybe went to, will probably live a Earthquake, but didn't really matter because he did get a Citrus Berry, so he wasn't going to die from the burn either anyways. But I switch out into my Slowbro, oh, my Slowbro here because I'm like, he's probably going to go for another Earthquake. Let's try to slave, save Slowbro here and then get maybe some damage off or even kill the, the Dawn Fan here. 
but yes, I do have the um, air balloon Jolteon, as you can see right there, it does not affect him. And I went for the shadow ball, he shadow ball here, taking out his Dawn fan. Now, he switches out into his Kiram, and I'm like, okay, no. SSJ Coco can't really do anything to this Kiram. He's going to die. It's just going to be a sacrificial play, sacrificial play if I try to go for a um, Shadow Ball or something. So I switch into my Slowbro here to um, maybe if he went for like a Swords Dance or Horn Claws or whatever. Maybe I could have gone Slowbro in there for a free turn, but he did not. And Slowbro kind of died, which was... Not really a bad thing because he wasn't very useful anymore because I did take out that Azumarill already, but yeah. So I switch on to my Conkier and he's like, no, this Dragon Claw is going to do a lot of damage. That's what I said in the Skype call while we were by. I'm like, nah, bro. Gonna take that, you're going to take that Drain Punch to the face. I'm going to gain all that HP back, which I did exactly that. As you can see, got my 180 health back and then went straight for the Mock Punch for that KO. Now, at this point forward, it's kind of downhill for him. He can't really do anything to this Conk Elder. He's going to send out his Heatran right here. And Heatran really can't do anything to my Conk Elder because it is Assault Vested, which is perfect for a uh, Conk Elder set. Um, but right here, actually, with the Fire Blast, I was surprised how much damage this did. It did around half, uh, around 55%, which was kind of weird. But it didn't matter because I did go for another Drain Punch, getting all that HP back, and then straight for the mock punch the next turn right here uh now again it is a i think a 4 to 2 lead at this point here and his septile really can't do anything to my con because i do have again drain punch i could use i could really use anything honestly i could even use knockoff if i really wanted to just to troll but i went for the straight kill here i went for the ice punch and it okayed his septile. Septile was really frail, and I didn't actually realize how frail he was until that ice punch killed. Um, now he sends out his greed, also known as a Greninja, and I went for a mock punch just to get a little bit of damage off because I knew in my head that it wasn't going to kill. But surprisingly, it's either I got a high roll or this thing is missing a bit of defense. Like maybe it's a hasty nature or something. But anyways, GG Mike, Mikey Wikey, um, you did pretty good. Honestly, you shouldn't have sacrificed your Zimmeral at the beginning. That was a stupid play on your part. I know you were saying that in the Skype call too, but... Man, dude, you had to, you had to save that. That was the only thing that was able to take out my Conk Elder. But again, GG well played, and I hope you guys enjoyed this Pokemon Horse Wi-Fi battle. I'll be doing more in the future. Leave a like if you did like it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. I really love the hate, but yeah. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.